the surround receiver manages uh, uh, the base management and the crossovers. So in most receivers or, or, or processors, um, of course, you can adjust the crossover frequencies. My philosophy and my, to the best of my knowledge, and I'm sure there is some people out there that would disagree, um, especially Peter from Cineramax, but um, he's a good friend of mine. Um, my philosophy is to design a loudspeaker that it rolls off at 80 hertz latest, because I don't want too many speakers mess up with the bass in a room. When I have a speaker that goes low, it messes up my bass in the room because I have no control over that speaker. And it mingles with the rest of the bass, which uh, by definition, the LFE goes up to 120 hertz. Yeah, so that's why the bass management in a processor, let's say in a flexible processor, like of course the Trenoff uh, or Storm, you can do a lot of great things with, with these crossovers in the bass management right there for uh, obviously a lot of reasons. And um, you get more efficiency out of the speaker when you have the capability and you can design the enclosure smaller when you're, when you're not going very low. Because if I go now, let's say with the same speaker to 60 hertz, yes, I can do that. But the driver is not designed usually for that. So yes, I can extend maybe a little bit lower with that sp same speaker, but I lose about three to four dB efficiency in the base section which makes no sense for me whatsoever. I want high SPL. I want uh, people even with smaller amplifiers to get the most out of my speakers. And so um, I assume that the bass management, the crossovers basically um, are set to 80 Hertz or even higher because that also from a sound um, and from a dynamic perspective sounds the best, you know? Somebody needs to maybe convince me that I'm wrong, but um, if somebody wants to change that, you know, he just needs to add basically then a speaker, uh, so-called subwoofer or mid, we call it midwoofer, you know, so that extends the kick frequency woofer. range. Kick uh, up. <laughs> like a kicks up, exactly. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. That extends it then down to 50 or 45 Hertz or however low they want to go. But um, my de design philosophy is I go to 80 hertz and that's it, you know, and I gain a lot of things by it. And it makes the speaker a lot more user friendly because I can shrink the size of the speaker by half or even more. And I, may, I, I bring up the efficiency and the power handling of that speaker and also the impulse response of that speaker. It kicks better. It, it sounds better. It's more impulsive, you know, and um, I, I give up bass at any time because i mean we have subwoofers for the bass or the kick bass you know and we we want to hand off to a speaker you know a speaker also when i when i go lower needs to do a lot more excursion so excursion capabilities and all that this is for subwoofers it's desired yes but for mid and high um uh, speakers, it's not desired. I want them to be fast punchy you know and high so, mm -hmm. Je jeffrey that philosophy as a professional speak, uh, theater designer installer, having that flexibility like this 12 inch beryllium monitor. Yes. Um, if you look at the specs on that, that thing will play 130 dBs continuous. Is that, I believe that's, that's what... Super, um, uh, I mean, if you go to our website, you can download our right. CEA 2010 and that's very conservative reading, you know? I mean, if you- Oh, oh yeah, but I'm saying yeah. traditionally to get that kind of SPL, you needed a very large monitor, a very large- sure. Like, yeah. like I did JBL synthesis for years and, you know, or, or at least, a yeah. big line yeah. source or, yeah. you know, a big speaker with multiple drivers. And I mean, this thing's really compact to, yeah. to pack that much power. So that is a great tool to have when, cause you don't, you're not always able to design a room from the ground up to be perfect. You have limitations of size placement where you're going to place it and having that flexibility. I mean, this thing's what eight inches, 10 inches deep, eight inches deep. It's, it's crazy.